Okay, this is Limit Break, and I'm going to teach you about resampling your frame rate. A lot of people seem to do this when they resample clips. Right here is from my HD PVR. Anyway, if I click the thing here, um, okay, the raw file, you're going to notice the properties. It displays it right here. Native frame rate for 720p out of the PVR is 59.940 or kind of 60 frames so my question is why do some people resample the frame rate most people that resample it put it to 25 frames because it's the standard from where they're from but this is the thing YouTube doesn't care what standard it is it's, it will display it to its best quality some people might just do it because less frames is smoother hardware performance so Anyway, this is what happens. When you render up a clip with a new frame rate, Vegas forms a transition to kind of... It like resamples the frame rates. I'll drag a slide a clip randomly for a transition and notice the ghosted look of two images at one time. That's what happens to every individual frame, like the showed in here. Anyway, what you do to prevent that, right click, properties, you're going to see something. By default, it's going to be on Smart Resample. I changed it to Disable Resample. Anyway, this is what a clip will look like when you do the Smart Resample. This one is called 25 frames per second sloppy. I click on it, and just to prove it, it says right here, 25 FPS. Now I'm going to slide that in. Now Project Properties also has 25 FPS, so it's definitely as accurate. Notice the blurriness of the look here in the display. It has that ghosted look. You can definitely see it on this frame. Where if I bring up the scope onto this frame right here, the raw file, it's all clean. Now this one, 25 FPS clean, where I did the disable resample. Notice again, it says 25 frames per second, so I definitely resampled it. Now I'm going to highlight this clip some, and it has the same clean look that this one over here has. And yeah, it's basically clean. Anyway, I'm gonna play back the entire clip of the resampled the resample the basically the transition generated resampled clip and then the non resampled clip, okay? I'm gonna hit tools, build dynamic RAM preview just to pre buffer it so it's lag free. I could play this stuff no problem, but the recording and playing at the same time lags it, so... Here we go. Doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look super sharp. Because motion can cover it up compared to pausing, but... Anyway, now let's go to the clean one and see how much sharper the image looks. Tools, build dynamic RAM preview. Now let's play that. It has a slight choppy look, but the frames look a lot cleaner. Now, this is something you can keep in mind whenever you change your frames per second if you want it to look clean or you can handle the small amount of choppiness, but I would really say don't resample your frames. If you're going to resample your frame rate, keep it up to at least 30 frames. Anything below 30 and it doesn't look too clean, like this 25 frames per second. And seriously, it does not matter what the standards are in your country. YouTube is an international site. It will display it however it is uploaded. So keep it as close to the raw file. And if you do resample it, don't go below 30 because it looks smooth. When it, it looks fine when it's on 30. Oh yeah, and one last thing about this. When you disable the resample, it renders a lot quicker. Because think about it, when it resamples the frames, don't you think that's practically like putting FX on a clip and recent rendering it up so you can save render time and all anyway that was it about resampling frames and I hope this helps you you can do some experiments on your own see what you mean see what I mean all right later